Presented by Private Internet Access. We're returning to We Are Also Toshi. I'm Vic Falking. I'm here with Dennis Diver from Bitcoin Commodities. And we said we'd come back a little bit to predictions for the future, as in where we're heading, where are we going to mm. be in five years? We've been touching a little bit on it when you're saying that we used to mine Bitcoin. Now some people are talking about mining Ether instead. And there's this scaling debate. Wh 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 where do you think this entire community is in five years? Uh, the outlook is as clear as mud, I think. I, I'm afraid for right now. Uh, I think mid or long term, there's no question that one of the or two or three of the top five or ten cryptocurrencies will prevail. I think every one of those cryptocurrencies has their own own reason to be, has their own applications. Um, there are many clones for every for every of those applications, and I think we'll see one or two for each application uh, to you know kind of prevail. Um, excited to be which one it is. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to hedge uh, left and right whenever I can. You know we've seen a resurgence of a resurgence of Ripple. Mm. We've seen the resurgence of Litecoin. Uh, we've seen a, fo a hard fork. We we might see one in the next future, um, in the near future. I'm not I'm not exactly sure how this will turn out. We are probably also alluding to August. Yeah. Um, where one of the many many um, acronyms will will uh, start to take place, which I, I forget which one it is, and I'm actually trying to kind of keep away from from politics and that and the whole debate. Um, I know I have, I have very good friends in the crypto community who are on opposing ends of the whole scaling debate. Yep. For me as a merchant, I just want that it works. I want to have my money. When the customers pay, I don't want them to have to wait for three days to get your confirmation. Right. What, so that's what works means right. for you as in not so much reasonable fees perhaps, but trust in the network, being able to, to rely on the network? Both, ideally. Reasonable fees would be nice. Uh, okay. So what is unreasonable fees for you? What is reasonable fees? It uh, depends. It all, it all depends on where the customer has their coins from. I, if, if they're mining, they probably have a whole load of inputs. And if they want to mm. buy a coin for 500 euros, they will pay up to 10 euros because they might have 20, 30, 40 inputs. I have friends who uh, run an exchange in London who are paying up to 15 uh, euros per Bitcoin in fees. Many people might call that unreasonable. Some people say it's perfectly reasonable because it's your fault you would have that many inputs. Mm. You know, uh, the whole the whole thing is highly political, and and obviously both sides are uh, are painting the other one as um, uh, motivated, uh, taintedly motivated. Not sure which one is true. Uh, I just for now I will only I, I should hope probably that Segwit two X goes through. We get the segregated witness, we get the lightning rewards, and we get the bigger blocks, so we can all make peace. And you know, mm -hmm. be one happy Bitcoin family, mm -hmm. and uh, let's make this thing work again. Okay, C I mean, um, is that possible though? If if you look at Ethereum, it turns out that they had two camps which were fundamentally incompatible. At the end of the day, right. they decided to split par uh, part ways to Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, and in hindsight, that might have been the best thing to happen to Ethereum. Could well be. I'm not sure it is. Um, it worked out for Ethereum because uh, that was the. Uh, their system of benevolent leadership. Mm. Um, the leadership, the leadership clearly m um, indicated on which side they were going to be on. Come a fork. Um, in Bitcoin, you don't, you by design do not have leadership. Mm. Uh, at least you should not have. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how that would play out. Who would go on which side, and which side would which side would succeed? Um, I think for the user in the end, it would be nice to uh, make it usable again. I'm also, let me give you an example. I'm a fan of Counterparty, the mm. Counterparty protocol. Yep. 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 I collect uh, trading cards, hmm. Force of Will, Spells of Genesis, Rare Pepes. And so if I want to send a Pepe to my friend and uh, I'm going to have to pay 15, 20, 25 cents for a transaction, that for me is too much. Right. To send a transaction that has no real tangible value. If I pay that 25 cents to send you 5,000 euros, 
that might sound reasonable, right? Mm. So there really is no telling which w which is the case. Right. So this idea w that was with Bitcoin initially, with colored coins, with using it for <coughs> e-voting, distribute ballots, right. so you could trace coins back and to which candidate they went, and and so on, so on and so forth. I mean, y you essentially need subsent transaction fees for m for a lot of those scenarios. What happened to those? I haven't seen them discussed in a couple of years. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly how, um, in this case, the counterparty protocol or uh, Comsec with the rootstock, mm -hmm. uh, which um, I hear would make all this possible. How these uh, play with Lightning? Mm -hmm. um, I just I'm just not I'm not technical like that. I know that right now counterparty. Pr um, Transactions are embedded in uh, in the text fields of standard Bitcoin transactions. I'm sure you you could port those over to Lightning, uh, and if not, they'd have to switch. I mean, Forge left the Bitcoin network because of exactly that. They were a, a sub cent or twenty cent worth counterparty token that required itself uh, as a transaction fee, and that doesn't make any economical sense, right? So mm. obviously, you leave uh, the chain and go to another one. Right. So summarizing this, we are absolutely sure that cryptocurrency is the future. Right. But it might be Bitcoin, it might be other, it might be somebody else. The only thing we can tell for sure at this point is that the coin that provides the most utility, both for the general case right. and for specific cases, will be there. And I know this, this has been voiced before, and maybe this is because I'm a trader and a gold bug uh, of as of old. Um, I think Bitcoin will actually, if not prevail, it will always be the backbone of value in this whole in this whole cryptocurrency world so even even if ether ether is the coin that we all dabble in that we do our contracts in that we do icos in in the end if you want safe heaven it's bitcoin hmm.